And it brings to mind also a, a quote from Emerson, who uh, Vandenberg certainly read. And he had an essay called Self-Reliance that resonated with the senator. And Emerson said, speak what you now think in hard words, and tomorrow speak what tomorrow thinks in hard words again, though it contradict everything you've said today. <laughs> really, what he's saying is be ready to change and willing when the time is right. And that's what Vandenberg was doing and bringing millions of anxious Americans with him as they're trying to navigate a new world after the war. But you spent a lot of time with this man in the archives and interviewing people. And what was it that you were able to do as a writer? I mean, you, you're a busy guy. You spent a lot of time crafting this book. Tell us a little bit about how you actually wrote it when you have so many other responsibilities in your life. Well, I mean, the joke is that it took 26 years. So <laughs> the, that, and, and I had enough flexibility in my job at intervals during that time that I could take a day a week in the early 90s and go down to the Bentley Library in Ann Arbor where uh, Vandenberg's papers are or um, fly out to Connecticut to um, his youngest daughter, Betsy, was in her 80s then and we became quite close. So I, I, was, I had that freedom. And then the, you, you, as a biographer, you're never done with the research. I mean, people are asking you good questions even today that I wish I had the answers to that, oh, I didn't get to that or I didn't think about that. But you have to start writing long before. The, the, since the research is never done, you have to start writing as you're doing the research. And so that was, that was going along and becoming an enormous manuscript that, um, that I knew needed to be shortened. I mean, you're operating, I was operating with conflicting ideas. One, because the subject, it wasn't commercial, but it would find a home somewhere because it was a story that had to be told. But I also knew that having a thousand page manuscript, just because I'd done all this research and had all this background on his life in Grand Rapids, I didn't have a publishable product. It had to, it had to be cut significantly. 